Good morning and namaste. Thank you for tuning in to Gigi Rainbow Mats. Today's yoga session is about a core area, your front and your back. This is a great routine for um, doing before extended periods of sitting or after you do a sporting activity that hits hard on your hamstrings, hence your lower back. So grab your stick, grab your mat, and we'll begin. Bringing the stick so that it is at a good arm's length away, slowly bring your hands down. When you come to a 90 degrees in the forward fold, bend your head forward through your arms, feeling the stretch in your lats. Let go of one hand and let it dangle. So just let your right hand dangle clockwise and then counterclockwise. Holding, letting go with the left hand, do the same. Clockwise circles, counterclockwise. Now hold the stick with both your hands and really extend your head through your arms, pu pushing the stick a little bit away from you, feeling the stretch in your hamstring and in your lats area, underarm area, your upper back area, and on your outer shoulders. Coming into uh, the child's pose, come onto your elbows, really extend them out, dig them into the mat, hold the stick, palms facing upwards. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, bring the stick to behind your head in a nice tricep stretch and upper back stretch. Let that go. Vertebrae by vertebrae, come up. Holding the stick, palms facing down into camel's pose. Extend your arms upwards, loosely holding the stick between your index finger and your thumb. Now we're gently going to bring our arm back, but this is only possible if we, as we go down, we keep extending our arms. So widening them, and then we come down. If we do not um, widen our stands, our arms get locked at a place. So that's why just hold them loosely, you won't get injured, and just extend them out. Now we have our stick on the back, and we're going to switch our hands so that our palms are facing inwards. Now really push the stick in to the, uh, so you're below your belt line. So um, right in the middle, like pretty much the last part of your vertebrae. So push the stick in, tighten your glutes, bring your shoulder blades in, extend your jaw upwards, feeling the stretch from your navel right into the little muscles in your neck area and your jaw. Breathe through your teeth. Nice little back bend. Let's bring the stick around, coming back into child's pose. So dipping our elbows forward, coming back, engaging triceps and lats. Bring the stick behind. Slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, holding the stick, palms facing down, and coming into camel pose, Ushtadasana. 
loosen up on the stick, widen your stance as we go down, breathe out. Hold the stick, palms facing inward, press into your body. Open up your torso, open up your chest, look up to the sky, engage jaw. Deep inhale, exhale. Let's come out of that. Come to lying down on your back. Dig your heels into the ground so that the small of your back disappears. Take your stick, hug your knees to your chest and your toes come, come onto the stick. Now if you want it wider, just bring your hands in inside your feet. So we are in Ananda Balasana, the happy baby pose. So push down with your arms and push up with your um, toes and you begin to feel the stretch in your inner groin area and your hip area begins to open up. Deep breaths in and out here. Now let's massage our backs and engage our core in this by rolling side to side. Control with the stick which requires our abs to engage. Now slowly, coming back to center, extend your feet alongside the stick, both of your feet and you'll notice the stretch begins to move into your entire inner thigh area. Now extend your legs as far as possible and then roll the stick so that it's in the middle of your arches. When it's in the middle of your arches, you begin to feel the stretch going right from the inner arch through your inner ankle into your inner inside calf area, into your inner thigh area. Deep breaths in and out here. And if you'd like, you can keep extending your feet or just be where you're comfortable, but try to challenge, uh, try to find a new comfort zone. Let's bring our feet in and coming to the inside of our hands and extend our feet out. In the Viprita Karniyasana, the waterfall pose, now the stretch moves on the back of your legs. So back of calves and into your hamstrings. Take some deep breaths in and out here, pushing down gently with the stick and pushing up with your feet. Now cross your hands over. So the right hand is on the outside of the left foot and vice versa. The left hand on the outside of the right foot giving you a deeper bend, stretching your lower back area. Uncross your arms, bringing your, uh, the stick to your arches and just begin to push your feet down a little bit. Now roll the stick to the back of your calves area and push down a little bit more by switching your hands so that now they're facing the ground and pushing down on the stick. Now roll the stick back to the back of your ankle and push down further so that your feet can touch the ground if you like, or you just get a deeper stretch here. Even if you don't touch the ground, it's fine. Palasana, plow pose. Huge stretch in your lower back area. Let's gently come out of that. 
Now again, bring your feet in, uh, in between your hands on the stick. And now we're going to massage our back and engage our abs by rolling forward and backward this time. Deep breath in and out on the way up. In, out, in, out. After a few times, see if you can come to sitting. When you're in the sitting position, keep the stick at your feet and press inwards. So you're balancing on your glutes. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, kick your feet at your knee. Breathe out, kick out. Breathing in, bring them in. On the next breath out, extend your feet out completely. into full Navasana pose. This is a full body pose for me, I feel, because my hands are being used, so my upper back is completely being stretched outwards, and um, my arms are being strengthened right from my fingers, right through my forearms into my shoulders area. My feet, um, my arches are getting a nice stretch, my calves are getting a great stretch, and my hamstrings. My core is also engaged, and so is my back. Full body pose, one asana, many benefits. Let's come out of that. Now to the end of the session, I wanted to end it with a spinal twist. So coming to lying on our bellies, your right foot, um, right leg is at a 90 degree. Your left leg is completely grounded on the ground, right from the top of the feet right into your thigh, so have it deep into the ground there. The uh, short end of the stick is held in your left hand, the long end in your right hand. Take a deep breath in and turn your upper body. Coming to a nice spinal twist. Now see if you can get your right shoulder right into the ground to get the full benefit of this spinal twist. Let's come out of that. This time bending our left leg, grounding our right into the ground. Short end of the stick in your right hand, long end in your left. Deep breath in and then turn towards your left side. Try to bring the left shoulder into the ground. Let's come out of that. This ends this uh, yoga session. I hope you found it uh, beneficial and you'll pair it with a morning yoga routine if you're going to be doing extended periods of sitting for the day. Or it's great um, after a sporting activity that pounds from the ground up into your hamstrings and your, hence your lower back area. Thanks for tuning into Gigi Rainbow Mats. Please visit again for more yoga flows on strengthening, stretching, and stability.